There are three ways that Merchise account can be used. Sell products directly on Merchise platform. Create and sync products from Merchise to your sale channels. Create or import or send orders to Merchise for fulfillment only. This below tutorial to guide you go through the fulfillment process. Let's start it. Step 1. Create a free Merchise account. To use Merchise fulfillment service, you need a Merchise account. If you have not yet signed up with Merchise, you can go to seller.merkaisi.com. Log in with your Google account click Create New Store. Select the Fulfillment plan if you use for order fulfillment only. Then create a store with your own store name. Contact Merchise support via live chat or website to activate and guide you set up your store correctly. Once your store activated, you can access to your account by clicking on the store name on the login screen. Step 2. Integrate with Sale Channels. Connecting Merchise to Sales Channels will allow users to two-way synchronize products and orders, manage the listings and fulfillment from within Merchise. In your Merchise Admin Dashboard, you will see the Integration section in the left panel, then follow the detailed setup tutorials for each channel included in our Help Desk. Right after your stores are added to Merchise successfully, you will see the screen displaying the status if it is connected or failed. Once you've done integration setup, you can sync orders automatically from your store to Merchise. Step 3. Create Designs and Mockups 1. Prepare Print File Note that each product may require specific design placement and have different print restrictions. You have to reference our print templates to ensure you're getting the best print quality possible. The design instructions included in each product template that you can download from the product link on our website under the mock-up and template tab. To use Merchise print templates, ultimately we'd recommend working with the desktop versions of Adobe Photoshop or other free options that have the ability to work with PSD file like GIMP, Pixlr or Photopia work too. Here is an example of designing and creating print file process of the Hawaiian shirt. Open the downloaded PSD file. Design your artwork as you normally would while keeping in mind the specifications noted in the file. When finished, then save the design in the same dimensions as the template itself. Make sure to turn off all the guide layers. 2. Generate mockups. If you want to get our mockups of your custom products to see how they'll look once printed or for listing purposes, there are currently two options. Use PSD file. PSD mockup version included in each product link in our website. You can use Photoshop or need an alternative that has the ability to work with smart objects. The only free application that fits this criteria would be Photopia. You can also use your own unique mockups as long as they are appropriate for Merchise product details and print files. Use built-in mockup tool. This tool helps to quickly visualize your ideas, and you can easily create multiple products with the same design. To create mockups, follow these key steps. Log into your Merchise account, navigate to Product section, choose Create Campaign. Pick one or many products then click Design button. Be sure to submit a finished print file. Make sure your file that follow the product template. Click Preview to see a realistic mock-up image of your design. 
Then, download the mockups to use on your sales store or other online storefronts, social media channels. Or fill the product information and then click Publish to create product. Using our campaign builder you are able to have multiple products in minutes. Then you can order your first sample from this product. Click Request Sample button, you'll be directed to the Create Order page. Once you have a product, you can start creating orders manually. In the Create Order page, choose Click to Add button. Then the product panel will appear. You can locate or search the products you wish to add. Then continue to shipping and enter shipping information. Simply fill out all of the required fields. When you finished, tap Create Order. Step 4. Fulfill and manage your orders. By default, if this is your first use merchise fulfillment, you need to turn on Enable Fulfillment by Merchise feature in the Setting Fulfillment page. This will take you automatically push the order requests to us. Beside creating order manually, you can choose to send orders to your Merchise account via importing orders or syncing orders. 1. Sync orders. Integration of your stores and Merchise admin so your order updates as the fulfillment progress. You need to upload artworks for the orders to start fulfilling. You can fulfill entire or part of an order, add branding labels and other package customization. You can also quickly search, view and edit any order from all your received orders on multiple stores. You can see the order accompanied by the tag of the order in the form of channel name and your store account name to identify which orders come from which store account. 2. Import orders. We recommend that you start by downloading an example CSV file. Go to Admin Dashboard Orders Select Import External Orders Download. In the downloaded CSV file, there is a list of the data you need for the CSV import. You have to enter required information in required fields, and can leave optional fields blank. Then import the file into your Merchise account. If all information is correct, they will appear in the Order section or Order Import log page. Overview of Merchise Order Management You'll see the order details by clicking on the Order Number in Orders section. The Order Detail page will show the order information along with its payment status. As per the default settings, it may take about 5 minutes to send the order has artwork with validated address from your store to Merchise Fulfillment System. You can choose your preferred time by change the options in the Fulfillment setting page. Merchise will then process and invoice for you orders. Please notice your invoice within 20 for working hours. If you want to get invoices paid for immediately, you can add funds to your store in advance. While you still have an active balance, any leftover funds will be refundable and you will be able to withdraw it. Once we receive your payment, we can start producing your orders. Note that, before the order pushed to production, it can be cancelled, as well as edited like shipping information, artwork. When possible, if you would like to make changes to the fulfilled order you'll need to contact our support to request. Order History Your order history keeps track of all transaction and processing activity for an order, with status updates along the way. Order Progress at the Order Progress section near the top of the page shows all the main events that happen to an order from the moment it is created to deliver. Order Status The fulfillment columns give you information about the state your order is in. Step 5. Top Up and Billing For merchants on all store plans, Currently, Count Balance is available as an accepted billing method for paying off your order fulfillment invoices. To add funds to your balance, from the billing page, click Top Up in the credit section. Fill out the Top Up form to submit your payment information. The four following payment options are available for depositing money to your balance. 1. PayPal Instant deposit by either using your PayPal balance, credit card or debit card. 
This feature is currently the beta test version, just available for some stores for and will be published soon for all merchise stores, or you can contact our support to request a trial now. You can either use mass payment or goods and services transfer. Another transfer options available now. Pioneer PO transfer, ping pong transfer, bank to bank transfer, for Vietnamese bank account only. Fill required informations and then submit. Deposits history section shows all of your store deposit and withdrawal transactions, also display the payment status. Pending status it means that the transaction is waiting for approval. Approved status it means that the payment is approved. Cancel status. While the transaction is still pending, it can be cancelled to stop the payment submission process. And rejected status. Payment is rejected due to invalid information or the other reason. The bills section display all the issued invoices. Your funds will typically be available in your merchise balance. Within minutes or take up to one business days at most will depend on your payment method. If it takes longer please contact merchise support for assistance.